Welcome to Candlepins for Cancer, live from Bolarama in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. All season long, we will be raising money for bowlers and their families for the fight against this terrible disease. To donate or take part, please go to Candlepins, the number four, cancer.com. Candlepins for cancer.com. Today, we're pleased to feature the stars of our third step letter match. Our previous winner, Scott LaPierre, and our number two qualifier with a 696, Dean Sullivan. And your host, Paul Grant. Thanks, Greg. We have uh, Bob Lee with us also on Cannibal Bowling Network and WN Sports New York. Thank you for watching this great game of Cannibal Bowling. The number five seed, Scott Lapier from Sanford, Maine, a 163 third string. Last time out against number three seed, Paul Markey, a 150 third string. Yeah, gotta finish, gotta finish. What's been the key? I'll just say, same focus. Get on that head pin, same focus. Bro. Six strings over edge, not a bad way to start. Not bad at all. See if we can keep it going. All right, good luck today. Thank you. Team Summit, great ball over the years. One question only How do you stay so consistent, a top competitor, year in, year out? I'm old. Mary. <laughs> oh, it is. You like, oh, oh, oh. like a good bottle of wine, right? You get better with age, right? Pretty much. All right, good luck today. Thank you. So it's three strings, total pinfall. If there's a tie, a full one string roll off to determine the winner. The winner to face the number one seed, Sean Baker, yeah, on Camp Ball Network, W1 Sports New York. The, the uh, number five seed, Scott Lapia, leads off first, followed by Dean Sullivan, the number two seed. Candlepin Bowling Network and on the WON Media Network. If this is your first time watching Candlepin Bowling, it plays just like big ball bowling, except you get three small balls instead of two big ones. It's tougher than it looks. Also, any pins on the plate stay on the plate and can be played as live wood. Scott Lapierre, the number five seed with a high single of 207, starts off with four. First ladder series, 419. Last one just missed $100, a 399. Need a spare eight, got a spare seven. You're racking up the mileage and the, and the bonus money. That's the one in 10. What did he win, Greg, the last two rounds and bonus money? Combined $300 on our first edition against Jay Simino and then $125 in his defeat over Paul Markey. He starts with a nine here in the first of three. Beautiful. Portsmouth, Ball of Armour, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. He was had 678 to oust Brian Fuller Jr. by three pins. Imagine going to 675 and not make the ladder. Harsh. We'll see Brian Fuller in the next qualifying round at Riverwalk Lanes, Ainsbury, Mass. And March 12th will be our next live shows here at Bolarama. March 12th, 11 a.m. Sunday on Kenneth Mullen Network and WON Sports. As we're fixing that scoreboard, as Scott Lapierre will take his second box here in the first on lane nine. Right in the pocket, and he gets eight. Six to right, seven to the left. Speaking of me, Shannon Scribner made this incredible shot for a spare down the stretch in the first one's double event. Watch that thrilling two-string final on Kenneth Mullen Network. And Glennis McKinley, the number two seed on January 14th, live show. She was brilliant with five strikes and two strings. Hey, what a shot for a spare. Ooh, wow. Baby. Spinning top. That's so good. I was about to say, McKinley and Scribner, you'll see them on the live show coming up at a big 20 main. And how about Deb DeRosa, 63 pins over average, number four seed. And number five seed, Mario Capital T Johnson, <laughs> number five seed. And not to mention Amanda Carroll, who would have qualified twice if that were a thing. She's number one seed. In Gray Main, number two is Glennis McKinley. Sullivan on the head pin. He does a lot of head pin hits. Let's go to splits. One of the most unluckiest bowlers I've seen. He has the two left, ten right. See so if we can use that wood somehow. How are you playing that wood, Greg? Do you play it at all? Sometimes maybe the cut is just the best shot, even though it's on the Oh, what a oh shot for a spare! Oh, goodness! The veteran ball, what a shot for a spare to start the match. This is why he was such a juggernaut on uh, King of the Palace. Born in Thousand Oaks, California, lives in Manchester, New Hampshire. On the bonus, off to the left, gets six, one. Three, eight, and ten. One piece of wood between the three and the ten. Sixteen through one. Right now up seven, up against a spare. Strikes are rare, so it's often a game of spares. That's why we get so animated, especially for big shots like that. Good try again on the object pin. Won't carry. He has the three and the ten. Number two seed last season. You can watch on the alley chat. 
And this time it's nine, 25 through two in the first of three. Let's try to have the wood go back, but it won't cooperate. Thankfully it cooperated with the pin center, otherwise that would have been another delay. Let's bring in Bob Lee. Well, Paul, I heard you saying the he's real unlucky, but we got to keep keep in mind that even the greatest, Tom also threw of, of his head pins, which he hit 78% of the time, 40% of them were splits. He made a lot of them, made a well, relative, you know, relatively well to other bowlers, but uh, it, a lot of bowlers think that they're uh, that they're very unlucky when they get a split, but forty percent of the time when you hit a head pin, you know, that's 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 gonna feel unlucky to anybody. Scott Lapia working this pair in lane ten. Perfect shot. Spread Eagle throwing the eight pin also. About six percent of them turn into spread eagles of, of one sort or another too. Three in that fill, twenty three to two. Goes less than 1% of the time. Trying to cut less into more. That's the principle most bowlers follow. Wow. Good mix off that. It's that front pin. It's tough to get both front pins on the spread eagle. And that's why Scott didn't convert there. But a good chance for 10. And he got it. Nice shot. All that for a 10. 32 through 3. First of three strings, the one of the face number one seed, red hot Sean Baker, threw a 732 here in Portsmouth, the qualifying round, and won the nine pin tournament recently. Yesterday. Well, yesterday in the real time and on WN New York later on this past weekend, a 228 fifth string and nine pin, an 807 sickening five string score. Won $1,000, and he gets a guarantee of $1,000 as a runner up, and 2,000 he wins. Nine pin plays similarly to no tap bowling. If you drop nine on the first ball, that's a awarded strike. Eight consecutive nine drops takes quite some doing. Average head pin hit, well, average spare fill you figure is the same figure, 6.5. And you get a four box also to start <laughs> also. And that's the modern record, 228, that we know of. No records were kept on nine pin tournaments. As we get the scoreboard fixed up here. Scott Lapierre, 32 through 3. Yeah. Apparently the, pin spotter caught it, even though the runner of a Taze match receives $500 plus any bonus money. Three marks in a row, $25. If you keep it going, you add 25 more each consecutive mark. And there's another perfect shot, a spread eagle. There's a one percenter, Bob Lee. I call them six percenters because six percent of the time when you hit the head pin, they, they get a spread eagle and man, it means you're bowling well. But yep. Who put that four in the middle of the bullseye? And now he ends up with a banana split. So you chop a banana, and one goes side goes one way, one goes the other way. So I call it a banana split. And again, there's no necessarily advice to give other than just stay on your object and stay with it. Keep working for it. Keep picking up these pins. They're difficult. That's not bad. But that would. I thought he'd get the 4-7, but he gets the 6-10 instead for an 8. 40 through 4 with a spare 3 thrown in. Dean Sullivan, 26 through 2. That should, that should be correct, isn't it? Yep. Oh, he did have nine. Dean Sullivan had a spare six and a nine. Yep, 25 through 2. Thank you for watching on WN Sports New York and Can Up the Bowling Network. You're home for all things Kenneth and Bowling. Kenneth Mullen now. We're free on YouTube. Ooh. Sullivan, nine. The great first ball. Eight pin left up. With that wood to stop by rule before you throw the ball. It matters where it settles because it's not the friendliest piece of wood in the world. It looks angled. I think a red line deflection could easily take the ball away. So Sullivan's going to have to spin to win. Ah, look at that. Oh, Tough boy. break. <laughs> I'm sure he's thrilled about that shot. Yeah. Paul Grant special missed the second, make the third. Tough break with that wood. Ten box, 35 through three. Right now up three box to box in the first of three. Sean Baker, the number one seed. Pulls the winner of this match for $2,000. Runner up gets 1,000. 
500 in this match runner-up. Yes, that same Sean Baker who accepted our invitation to be in the exhibition match against Chris Sargent as a star of yesteryear. And then it's the star of today as well, the number one qualifier after the fact. Dean Sullivan, the 2-4-5 triangle, a couple pieces of wood. One behind, one in front. Be careful that cap. Might go inside. And he does. Perfect shot. Spare. Second spare of the string. 45 and a ball through four. Up five plus a ball. Yep, early advantage here after LaPierre only got three on the first spare fill. Dean's got six plus this, so already an advantage opening up there. Scott from San Fermate out of Bowl Arama here at Bowl Olrama in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. <laughs> on the nose, breaks up the split, has the 3 6 10 on the right, at a spare three in the second. Brilliant the first two matches. Just absolute brilliant dominance in those third strings. One fifty six plus average in the fifth third string. Amazing. And a spare. Fifty half plus one. Like son, like mother, you could say. Absolutely. Runs in the family. We'll bring a mother over here in just a moment again. If she wants to. She saw a wild shirt stay up with a 50 50 route for $1,000 raised again for the fourth time we've covered a match here. On the bonus, crossing over, tough leave. Look at this. Wow. Six in the spare, 56 half. Four seven left, the 5 10 to the right. And one piece of wood, difficult piece, way off to that right. Now, if he, can, if he can pull this off, I think the roof might come down. Sometimes the lively sidewalls can take away the critical pin. Trying for it. <laughs> what a bid. These are the four left, five right. Not much you can do with that one either. Hope and pray. I think that might have been Sullivan calling out heck of a bid there. Bowlers always supportive of each other. Always a great spirit of sportsmanship in this game. Nice out, nine. Out of that mess. 64 through six. Dean Sullivan working on his spare. 45 in the ball through four. He was number two seed last year, lost to Aaron St. Cyr. And trying to get the number one spot to be Sean Baker for $2,000. Again, $500 to the runner-up in this match. Climbing the ladder, 2000 at the top. Sullivan on the spare, just missed the head pin. We got a seven, the one, three, and the seven. 52 through four, up 12, box to box. Up against a spare here, though. Not easy with makeable. And he's on the object pin again, but won't carry. Can you always want to aim for the head pin? Some say aim for the, uh, uh, aim for the pocket. There's a nine. That's right, Paul. Sometimes people will hit the head pin or aim for the head pin simply because you're likely to miss it one way or another. And then as a result, either hit the pocket, maybe the crossover side. Dean Sullivan, 61 half, a five box to box. And against the LaPierre open, two spares apiece. Head pin hit there, it's the six. Got the two, four, seven, and sleeping behind the two is the eight. Eight, nine pins called sleeper pins. I don't really call them super pins if they're standing up. Nice shot, almost. Ooh, what a bid. Once again, Andre Pin won't carry. Now this piece of wood is going to roll back and forth. I mean, it's a matter of nine or ten. Sometimes those single pins could matter, but tough to have to wait for the wood to stop moving. One pin cost $100 last match for $400 for the high three. Scott, yeah. yeah. Sullivan, nice pinning at 10. 71 through six, up six. Fierce competitor, always up there in all the tournaments. Always. Also, both the Atlantic Kenneth and Singles Tour after a great start this year also. Yeah, always good to see these three-string matches. Starts off with a tight margin here, so this could be a good one going down the stretch. Happy F for strike nine. Four pin left up. Two spares hmm. in the string already. Fills with three and six. 
if that pin will sit tight, I think it's, oh boy. I thought if anything, the tip would nestle right next to the four pin. It's still rolling back and forth. I think it's going to force Slop here to still play this. He's, He's been sharp shooting those single pins, scooting around those pieces of wood throughout this ladder series. Thin margins, you can see it at the pin cam at the bottom. This time he uses the wood, and he got it. There it is. 75 and a ball through seven here in the first of three from Bolarama. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Get notified when we go live. Canopin Bowling Network, your home for all things Canopin Bowling. Canopin Bowling Network, free on YouTube. No credit card required. Canopin Bowling Network. Scott crossing over nine. Kingpin remains the five, guarded by two pieces of wood. Crossovers leave kings, though. Boy, was that a good hit. 84 through seven. Caution, two pieces of wood could sometimes confound the shot. You don't want the two propeller blades to spin apart. Yeah, one piece is, is behind, though. You can see on the pin. For another spare, yes. Be, yeah, that one was set up nice. That was a layup. 94 and a ball through eight here in the first. Dean will leave one mark to keep pace. Dean's high single 193, high triple 458, averaging between 118 and 119. It's one pro series title under his belt. Off to left, gets 4 2 split, make it 3 2 split. 1 3 6, 4 7 left. Pulls out Alita Lanes, Nash, New Hampshire. Nice bid. Oh, you be kidding me once again. Oh, boy. Object pin won't carry. Unlucky again. Missing the head pin tends to leave worse leaves, but Dean Sullivan has been accurate overall. That's five out of seven. Ten. Again, object pin. 81 through seven. Down three in the string up against a spare hair. As for LaPierre, I confess my stats might have gotten away. I believe he's only uh, missed the head pin once. There might have been twice, but great shooting overall. Dean Sullivan on lane nine, half Worcester. Dreaded shot. I hate that shot. It, nothing worse than just the pins thudding back. One of the, a lot of prettiness in this game, but there's a lot of ugly noises as well. Convert about 20% of the time for Pro Bowlers that would. Stats by Kenneth Mowing Network. Now he's got the 1-5, 6-10 right. And this will try to get at least two or three on the head pin. It's an ugly arrangement, but skilled bowlers can make some sense out of it. Yep. And tough break there, six. Mind you, he is a skilled bowler, but just got a little off on the angle. 87 through eight, sorry. Four pins left stand. My fault, Greg, 87 through eight, my apologies. Lafayette on a spare. Look at the bonus money. He's got two in a row. And look at this. Wow, take a picture of this one, folks. How often do you see this one? Yikes. Three, wow. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He got the he got one and two. Wow. No, the nine pin went out as well, excuse me. Three fill. 97 through eight. Up ten in the string. Trying to use the wood and got the middle only. A 478 triangle left, a 3610 on the right. A seven box would be a victory here. Yeah, screenshot worthy moment on whatever device you're watching on. And you get seven the hard way, the unconventional way, 104 through nine. Averaging 124 for a season's highest ever. 123 in the Wednesday Night League, a little bit lower in Friday Night Pro League. The weird thing is that doesn't go down as a split. <laughs> Crossing over for strike nine. Ten pin left up. Lapierre said a bevy of head pin leaves to look at. That's about his fourth bona fide leave right there. All right, Bob, what's the percentage in this shot? Uh, anytime a pro takes aim at any pin, it's going to be about 70%. He's got it. Spare in the tenth. 114 of the ball. His lowest score in the first two ladder series, 124. In both ladder series, he's gotten better each string. The first round against Jay Simino with 126, 130, 163. Last match against Paul Markey, 124, 125, and 150. 
and he won't get there this time. Six, 120, first string. That's a very hard one, 120. You saw some craziness happen there, but great finish. Three marks in the last four, five marks overall. So no points, just total pinfall for three strings to play Sean Baker, the number one seed with the 732 qualifying round. Dean threw a 696 here in Portsmouth in this qualifying round. Down 10, box to box, and once again, head pin. Red Eagle, 1% chance here. One in five for 10 bucks. Eight pins hiding back there as well. I didn't see that from here, but that's right. Tough break there. So now the question becomes, do you switch sides? Obviously less than more is the three pins into four, excuse me, is a good idea for spare shooting. Let's see what Sullivan decides for the third ball. He's going for all of them. Yeah, that's sleeper. Got the sleeper. That's seven. I'll take seven out of that mess. 94 through nine, so he's double strike to win the string. But $25 on the line. Okay. So pinning starting to become a factor here as the pins are becoming a little obnoxious, to say the least. But that said, it's about even right now. It's uh, eight pins left standing for Sullivan and seven left standing for LaPierre. Sullivan won't go, and Scott Lapio will win the first string. Seven for seven in winning strings. Now here's the weirdness of this game. He's missed the head pin this time, and he gets a 1-3. So the cosmic justice coming back around, and a chance here to close the first string out. The one and the three for a spare. Got it. 104 and a ball. A strike will cut it to six. That's right. Consider that as two of LaPierre's uh, fills were three, including that yeah, two deadly splits or back pin leaves, whatever you want to call it, that have chilled a few of his bonuses. Let's see if Sullivan can crush the head pin. Head pin hit. Nine. He nice did. finish. Nice finish for Dean Sullivan. 113. So Scott LaPierre takes it. 120 to 113. Two strings to go on Caleb from Bowl Network in WN Sports New York. We'll start our second string in just a moment. We'll keep you there live, and we'll talk to you in just a moment on WN Sports New York. We'll keep it here live for the rest of you. So five marks to three in LaPierre's favor, but the power of the fill. Sullivan on the head pin just about every single time. We actually got some good... Actually, excuse me, he's washed out a couple of times, but he got a big nine fill on the end there. 22 bonus pins to LaPierre's 27 all told. So that extra mark did make a difference. That creates a five pin advantage. That's right. We saw, we saw three spread eagles there, variants, you know, with a yeah. couple of them had talons. Uh, LaPierre put up two early on, back to back. He, get, he got scores of nine and eight. Dean Sullivan, we saw, had one for seven. So, you know, Every time, every time these, these these guys face the spread eagle, my, my my advice as a statistician is to imagine everyone's going to get them. You're playing against the pro average. The pro average is eight eight and a half, eight point three. So if you can get nine, you're gaining. If you get ten, you're gaining. You get under that, you're you're losing. Instead of worrying about, oh no, I'm getting a spread eagle instead of a sp a spare. That's a better way to uh, think about. Little about. things can go a long way. Dean Summers going to lead off the second string in just a moment. We'll get away in just a moment on Kenneth Mullen Network. Please like, share, subscribe. Kenneth Mullen Network on YouTube. No credit card required. Yeah, we really appreciate every single one of you. The Bowlers are taking a few minutes extra break in this particular case. but hey, um, I, have a, I have a special treat for those at home. They want to see uh, little, the... Oh, yes. Sean Baker's... Uh, <laughs> on the screen. They put the circle around it there. Sean Baker's... Uh, 228 game in the nine pin. Paul, you were Paul, you were at this match. Uh, he started off with a strike, spare, and a ten. Then he had a four box in the fourth, followed by eight consecutive strikes for a 228. Of course, these strikes, any nine was good for a strike on that. Um, we have an announcement going on overhead. Bowling alleys are happening places. Children are celebrating birthdays everywhere in, Man in New England. Book your birthday party here at Port Are we Roma. ready? Dean Sullivan, lead off the second string. All right, we're going to move back. On lane 10.
Scott won the first 120 to 113. Hong Kong, Bob Lee, Greg Gouillard on Candle Promote Network, WN Sports, WON Sports, New York. Shout out to our friend Jonathan Rios. Give us a chance to great, expand this great game of Candle and Bowling. Hopefully across 37 affiliates in 2024. Love the new banner. Dean Sullivan, head pin, has a triangle featuring the three, five, and six. And the spear nine to cut it to seven. Five marks to three, another powerful head pin hit. That's part of the reason. Powerful angle on the ball. Ooh, again, object pin won't carry. Had the angle to be sure. But he's gotten some big mixes on spares and that's why he's got staying in this match even though Scott's got two marks in hand on him. Starts off the second string of the nine. Being a seven-time winner at King of the Palace and a two-time outrun the Bear champion. Run by three times you have a Danny Finn and Kate Finn, Carrie Ann, out in Millis, Ryan Family Music, one of the best tournaments out there, outrun the Bear. Shout out to Danny Finn, the director of the Atlantic Camp and Singles Tour. Sullivan, 3-2 split. Again, head pin, nothing to show for it. Yeah, Danny will always be the voice of it, as he'll equally vocally tell you. Every, it's a family affair to really get that tournament together. Absolutely. What a wonderful way to bring together several bowlers under one roof, and all the spots filled up in a matter of moments when it was advertised. Two hours, 11 minutes to get 88 bowlers. Amazing. 2-11, huh? Yeah. That's better than the concert, I think, isn't it? <laughs> well, I think the reservation system worked a little better here. Dean Sullivan back-to-back -back nines to start the second. Scott Lapierre, the number five seed, has already won two ladders. Trying to get to that top ladder. Tough matchup against Dean Sullivan. He's on lane nine here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire at Polarama. Sun here, tenants. Crossing over nine. Three pin remains. Three pieces of wood. Maybe four. This is a situation where you just play the wood. It looks like it's cooperative. It's just two pieces, I believe. Two in front, one behind. Sun Benjamin standing right next to us here for a spare. Got it. Spare to stop the second. Pinning was just about level, so right now it's coming down to marks. Up here really wants a big hit here. He hasn't got, always gotten rewarded on the head pin. Lapier in the pocket. Thought I'd get better than that. Triangle, 4, 7, 8, and the 10. Two pieces of wood to the right. 16 through 1 here in the second. Average spare fill is 16.5. As executive producer Bob Lee was mentioning during the break there. Let's see if he plays the wood. Um, I think he yeah, plays gotta the go wood. Gotta go for the, the wood here. Yeah. And good try, won't go. Boy! Yeah, he, missed, he wanted to hit that first piece. It, was, it wasn't It was exactly pointed right, but it had a chance of bouncing off the wall and taking out the three. Nine box, 25 through two. Dean Sullivan trying to get a mark here. Down seven in the string, 14 in the match early in the second. Three string total pinfall for the right to play number one seed 732 qualifying round, Sean Baker. Absolute stunning performance yesterday in a fifth string in the nine pin tournament at Academy Lanes, Pub 125. 228, fifth string, 807, five string series. Dean on the head pin, eight, nine. Just a 10 pin, and now that wood hmm. angling a weird way. Did that? Yeah, that didn't turn quite enough. It pressed against the edge oh. of the plate. I need a little break here moving away. For those who don't know, there is a recessed plate in Candlepin. That's not true in big ball bowling, of course. Right now, I think that wood is helping. I think Dean, oh, Dean waved his wand, and clock. he gets the spare at the yeah, wood. 28 the ball through three. If you see his arms, he willed that wood to move over to the left. You don't mess with Dean. Use the force. Okay. Stare down the pins. Do what you got to do. High single, 193, high triple, 450, high five, 711. Nice ball for a strike, got it! Wow! Strike on spare! 38 through three, 48 plus three through four. Here comes Dean. 
Now he's happy. <laughs> Bulls never happy when they lose, obviously, right? Who likes to lose? Well, Bowler's on the head pin every step of the way, so this string is heating up already for Sullivan. LaPierre, of course, got that one mark in the first. Good for Dean. He's punched out a lot. Throwing a great ball all, all match so far. Scott LaPierre, 25 through 2, has the 1 and the 3. Generous leave. Yeah, big big out, uh, big chance here to escape with a spare, I should say. Just over 50% of the time he's convert for pro balls. That would stats, again, by Kenneth Mullen Network. Got it. Second spare of the string. 35 and a ball through three. A great crowd on hand here at Bolarama. That equalizes the match. Yeah, always lots of activity here. And thank you so much to the Medeiros family for making us a part of this and giving us the opportunity to use these lanes for a great cause. We really greatly appreciate it. Scott on the bonus, crossing over eight. Wood to help, the three and the 10. 43 through three. We have ourselves a match. We have some of the top bowlers in this ladder series. Just great lineup. I'm looking forward to Sean Baker next match. And he missed Ooh, the three pin. Boy, that's harsh. You want to go on that wood in front of the three. Try going around it. Missed so opportunity. We really have ourselves a match. So LaPierre is going to get either nine or ten out of this. And then Sullivan with a strike fill is going to be able to bring this match pretty close to even as we near the halfway point. Scott, I'm not related to Jeff LaPierre at 10, 53 through four. <laughs> Dean Sullivan, a spare and now a strike, 48 plus two through four, can take the lead in the string. Down seven in the match coming in, lost the first. 120 to 113. On the bonus. Back to normal. 4-2 split on the head pin. Still filling a strike here. So again, where, how do you play for the most pins possible? Are you going two into four? Or are you going four into two in this case? I'm going for the i I'm going for the four. So well, I get at least, get at least three here. Well, that's what he does. At this game. No, he does go for the safer option. Gets two anyway, somehow, despite hitting the object pin. Six on the strike, 54 through four, up one in the string, down six in the match. Oh boy. And nice pinning there in eight. Again, he sliced that pin over and almost got 10 out of that. 62 half. Killer fill, but hanging in there. Just a ferocious competitor on the lanes. Was a lot of tournaments. Back in the head pin, no split this time, nine. Seven pin left up, great piece of wood in front. One to the right. Um, yeah, this should be fine. There's definitely room to get around that front piece of wood. I always get a little nervous about deflections out front, and it is angled funny. This looks safe, and you got it. <laughs> Use the front wood, perfectly placed. 72 no ball through six in the second of three. Sullivan clobbering the head pin, and it's showing. Three marks already, non-consecutive, unfortunately, so no bonus money there, but still opening up. Bowling is crucial for bowlers, but Kennel Pits for Cancer is about families and friends in the Kennel Bowling community. Please help support cancer. Kennel Pins, number four, cancer.com. Kennel Pins, number four, cancer.com. Any amount from $1 to as much as you want, up to $1,000. We got a $500 check today from somebody in the audience today. Incredible. We don't mention names. We keep it confidential. Anything to help Bola's family suffer from chemo, radiation, and their relatives. Candle pins number four, cancer.com. Once again, for the fourth time in a row, all these events we've done, over $1,000 raised for Candle pins for Cancer. And that's a tremendous donation, and we and the eventual recipient are so thankful, but any amount you can give really adds up. Even the Lemon Drop Pool, our so-called initiative, where uh, league bowlers who drop the four or six pin on their first ball uh, can optionally donate one dollar, and if you start that up at your league, it really does make a big difference. And we do, and we do the Mark Rich rule at Riverwalk Walk Lanes, five on a mark. That especially adds up. And we've got thousands of dollars in that alone. It all, all comes back to the bowling community. Nine for Scott Lapia, 62 half, tied box to box up against a spare. I want to thank Corey Lisi and Jordan Britton, who host the nine pin tournament, the Kennelpin Corner Christmas Classic yesterday. They donated $100 to Campus for Cancer in 50-50 raffles. We raised over $300 yesterday between Wild Shirts, Lemon Drop Pools, and their donations. So shout out to Corey, Lisi, and Jordan Britton on Camp and Corner on Twitch. 
You can subscribe on their channel using your Amazon Prime account for free. Twitch. Camp and Corner. Two seven for Scott Lapierre. For a spare. Looks good. Oh. Wood got in the way. And just full on the pin. It's always harsh to say. The best you can do in many cases is just aim for the object pin because it's so easy for that little bit of deviation, but it can make all the difference in this game. Nine. 71 through six. Dean Sullivan can take the lead in the match. Right. We are at the midpoint. Midpoint of the match. Paul Grant, Bob Lee, Greg Gouillard on Candleton Bowling Network. You're home for all things Candleton Bowling. Candleton Bowling Network, free on YouTube. Watch the score at the top of your screen update as this airfield gets thrown. The scores are so close and Sullivan could tie or better with this ball. Thanks for those watching the WN Sports Network as well. Dean on the spare. Looks good. Seven. Right side triangle, about 45% clip he's convert at for Pro Bowl slot wood. He's got the six, nine, and ten. Okay, so 79 through six. So through 16 of 30 boxes, though, we can say Sullivan has a one pin lead. That's your mid. Oh four. wow! How would that not go? He can't believe it. It wow. stumbled into the edge of the gutter. He got it off the sidewall, and it didn't quite come back to the ten. This guy just doesn't get breaks. Sometimes I'm telling you. Nine. 88 through 7. So through six completed boxes, he's up eight in the string, one in the match. Tight all the way through. The runner-up gets $500. The winner, the right to play number one seed, Sean Baker next on Candle Promoting Network in WN Sports. Sullivan has the one, three, six, and the nine behind the three. Has two spares and one strike in the string. Nice ball, got it. 98 of all through eight. Dean, keep the pressure on Scott Lapierre. Every mark crucial now down the stretch. Between this third ladder series, he's won all seven strings. Three for three in each of the first two rounds, one here in the first string. And sure, that was, sure, Dean missed the head pin that time, but the other seven boxes, he's been on target. No big surprise there. Lapierre, off the left, my least favorite shot, the half Worcester. Ted, Greg, tell us a story about WN Sports, about the half Worcester. That's right. Uh, the, definitely in the folklore of Candlepin Bowling, where uh, Boston and a Worcester team were competing against each other, and one of the Worcester bowlers threw this dreaded punch out, and one of the Boston bowlers jeered, you're halfway back to Worcester. Last box to match to lose. And it kind of stuck. That's the 2-8 or the 3-9, and there's a center 1-5 Worcester also. Which LaPierre just took out, unfortunately. That's why I hate that shot. A tough five. Brutal. It's a negative spare. 76 through seven. Ouch. It's tough to climb four spots to the top prize. Start trying to do that. Nothing a spare can't repair, but you'd rather the spares be doing the profiting. Still plenty of time, though. Close left. 3-2 split. That's the one three six four seven left. Hmm. I... I like the, wood. It, the wood is probably helping more than not. You wish it were more diagonal. But the vertical piece is okay. So up here just needs to bury it in the 1-3 pocket and have a go. Oh, what a easy. shot for a spare. So easy. Outstanding. <laughs> Piece of cake, right, Scott? <laughs> 86 in the ball through 8. What a shot. Both balls on spares. Dean Sullivan up 12 in the string. Dean Sullivan up 5 in the match. Everyone can see the totals on screen now as well. 5 pin margin. That's why you like, share on our network, Camp Ball Network. Never miss a match. I'd like to thank Bob Lee, executive producer of Camp Ball Network here on the score cam. Dean left that time. Got a break. 7. He'll take it. 1 3 in the 9. What the hell? 105 through 8 here in the second of three from Bola Rama in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. For another spare, it looks good. Oh, wow, the wood got in the way. Um, it was seven. It's correct, it's correct, it's correct. Thank you. 
also like to thank Jonathan Rios again for uh, supporting getting uh, Candle Fits for Cancer on the WON Media Network, but also for those lovely banners up there and the mic flags. Much appreciated. Al Johns wants a bigger logo for Candle Fits for Cancer. WON Sports <laughs> getting more love. That's true. <laughs> so help, help, help us get a bigger sign by donating to CandleFitsForCancer.com. <laughs> CandleFits number four, Cancer.com. Jonathan Rios, you've got to get us a bigger banner. No pressure, no pressure. D9, 114 through 9, back in that pin and back to normal split. 3, 6, 10 right, triangle, 4, 7, 8 left. It's disappointing to be sure, but it's not at the end all beat all. Slice that 3 pin into the 4 pin, and there is a chance for this one, especially with the wood behind. So the tr left hand triangle could go as one. Just missed the object pin. Now go for the short 3. How about the ladies' candle pencil cancer roll coming up in January, the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine, January 14, 2023? Live on Candle Promoting Network. Top five, Amanda Carroll, Lennis McKinley, Shannon Scribner, Deb DeRosia, and Mario Capital T. Johnson. That was a thrilling five-match person matchup that's going to be on Candle Promoting Network, Saturday, January 14th. Dean Solomon, 7, 121 seconds spent. 113, 121, 234 through 2. So nine pins left standing there. LaPierre's already left eight, including that five box. So in that regard, we're pretty much level. Four marks to three in the string in Sullivan's favor. Scott has a chance to win another string on the bonus. Got the hip in to go. Eight. Got that seven to fall. It's the three and the six. Great piece of wood in front. 102 through eight. Does not need a mark to win the string. LaPierre has only lost one string throughout his stepladder climb. And that was way back in the first match against Jay Simino. So correction, it's 94 through 8, but 102 is up to the moment. Through right, the first 94 ball. through 8. Yeah. Now it's yeah, fair. Now he's got a chance. Now. 104 through 9. Haven't had the chance to discuss bonus money. Of course, LaPierre won $25 for winning the first he, he string. He actually won all six strings in those first two ladder series. So he's, he's won a... $175 so far. Just in winning strings. Oh, that's right. Someone won $25 for three marks in a row, excuse me. I get it right once in a great while. Not too often. Oh, <laughs> nice ball on the eight. And the dreaded. Ball. Well, it's just gone. Not anymore. Oh, he got it. Wow. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Strike on spare. Wow. <laughs> Three in a row. Dean Sullivan, Sullivan, can I get one of those, please? Three marks in a row for $25 in bonus money atop top all that. <laughs> Scott Lappy not to be denied. Wins another string. Scoring system, of course, believes that that was an eight, but uh, it shut down the lasers before it had just for the 10-pin uh, to fall forward at just the right angle so that when it... So that when it Sort of bounced forward, sort of like a break dancer, and hit the five pin. So he's at 124 now. It's five. He's won every single string still. Eight for eight now in the three ladder series so far. Dean will need to turn that around to get back. Let's play Sean Baker. Times out two for seven. Nice finish. 131 is it? Or 129? No, 131. 131 is correct. 120, 131. 251 for two. And that means $25 in bonus money for three marks in a row and $25 for the string win. So he leads 251 to 234. 17 pin lead with one string to go. Paul Grant, Greg Guia, Bob Lee, we'll be back in just a moment on WN Sports. We'll keep you there live. For those on Camp Mall Network, our third string will start in just a moment. Bowlers, Recap from Bob Lee. Bowlers are taking a little break. Well, I mean, the, the high, both bowlers had three splits. So first of all, you know, like just just thinking about who was lucky or who was unlucky, they both had three splits. It's, you know, Scott Lapierre had the two spread eagles in the first. There were no spread eagles that time. Although Dean Sullivan didn't get credit, um, didn't didn't get a spread eagle when the, when he had the triangle on the left and the and the w eagle wing right. It's like a spread eagle. It's pr practically as difficult. But uh, the the big the big uh, turn of fortune was uh, on that on that tenth box with Lapierre, who will be bowling first, um, got the 
Got the ten, pi ten pin to fall forward into the five, turning a dreadful spare into a strike. A dreadful spare opportunity into a strike. The number five seed trying to climb three lattice, getting the finals. Up 17 coming in here to third. It's got wood to possibly help. The three, six, ten. The four to the left. Ten marks thrown by up here throughout the two strings before or we went to break. Oh, good try. Again, how does the left side go on the right side not? Dean cheering him on. Great sportsmanship. Nobody likes a ringing 10. And he'll stop the third with the 10. 120 and 131 is first two. The first ladder series against Jay Simino, 126, 130, and 163. 419 series. Last time out against Paul Markey, 124, 125, 150. 399, just $100 bonus money by one pin. And this time he's got the 410. Dean Sullivan split. He's got a good piece of wood, though. Yeah, Favorable. that's pretty good. Well, we've seen that 6 7 go. On this one, you. Almost want to hit it low, uh, you know, with, and, on the deep side. I get on that wood, because that wood is gonna, that wood's facing, I think, a little bit too far to the left for the ten pin, unless he hits it low. Let's see. For a spare. Yep. Oh. That's what a little, more, little more outside. Yeah, he, if you hit it behind it, it might have yep. yeah, a chance. It's good news for Dean Sullivan. Not a bad try though. Roll the pro out halfway across the plate. 10, 20 through 2. Scott's gotten better each of the latter series. He's, he's gotten good, better, best. Getting better each string. Very good. Called it fair there. There was the wood in the gutter, but he hit the pin on the fair, right. uh, in fair territory on the plate balls, before hitting the gutter. Balls do call it either way, but that was good. If it's questionable, yep. Dean Sullivan's done his third string down 17. Up gets a pair of 10s. Two marks away from being right back in it. And that's the Chestakov lead, but the Dave Chestakov. Go to split. Nice bid. Won't carry. In on his object pin. 6 9 right, 4 7 left. Yeah, harsh, but you don't always get tense for hitting all the object pins. Nice out, 8 to start. Down two in the string, 19 in the match. What a great effort on that. Got the pin across. Too bad Santa Claus wasn't here before. He could wish he could take a break. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is not to get the front teeth. Seven marks, one strike, and six spares for Sullivan. Nice ball for a strike. Whoa, yes! Gone. Got it! The nine was the last to Huge. fall on that one. 18 plus two through two here in the third. Can cut it into teens on the bonus. Scott Lapia, two tens to start. Lapier. Oh, son here in attendance. Yeah, Lapier wants to definitely get a mark here. If Sullivan gets a spare on that strike, then this could be an even match again. 417 combined main, st main state titles from youth to adult. 5 2 split. Four state titles, two singles, two doubles with his non relative, Jeff Lapier. Came second yesterday in the ninth in tournament. Won a fifth pro title with Craig Holbrook, Hall of Famer. Good ball, almost. My goodness. Good sticks, good sticks. You can watch this high single of 207, a pro series ultimate ladder in 2011 on YouTube. Scott Lapierre. Perfect shot, 10. Three tens, that's what you gotta do, you're not marking. Three tens, 30 through three, here in the third. It's great endurance, and I don't think there's any point in making illusions about the fact that we do film all our matches on the same day, even though you'll be watching them on the various episodes uh, across CBN and WON Sports, but that's is now LaPierre's ninth string, and he is continuing to not only hang in there, but thrive. Seven on the left, he has the two in the middle, five to the right. Would not in the best position. His third split of the four. 
Over $1,000 raised for Candlepins for Cancer. Please help donate to the charity. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. And almost, and we're not in the best spot. Two great shots in a row, wouldn't go. Always commiserating with one another about that. They've all been there and done that. 10 bucks again, four tens, 40 through four. Dean Sullivan left those last two boxes. Scott Lapierre. Oh, now Paul. Dean's working a big strike here. Can I ask you a statistical question? How often today have bowlers started the started a string with four straight tens? We saw earlier with uh, That's right. it's the two. first ladder series. Jay Simino. Ten is the most most common outcome. Is that so? Yeah, it's the mode. Dean Sullivan for a double. Thin hit, seven, six, nine, ten triangle plus the seven. It still uses wood. It's working on a strike. It's down 17 coming into the third. Has the lead here early in the third now. Tough, tough piece of wood. Oh, a high right. Goes left. Oh, my. Sweeping over, won't go. Eight on the strike, 26 through two. Up six in the string, down 11 in the match. So he's still in striking distance. Settles for nine. 35 through three, now up five in the string, 12 in the match, he's down. Yeah, the first split compared to LaPierre's three so far. 22 pins, you'd expect about 10, especially if it is the mode after all, to get it down to a dozen. So a mark could cut it down to single figures. Nice ball, nine. Just a four pin for a spare. Big time nine drop. Wood might be detached, it looks like. Either way, just aim at the pin. Right out for a spare. He exits Split City and gets a spare in the fourth. 45 and a ball, five in the string, plus a ball. Down 12 in the match. Making things a lot more interesting here in the third. Six boxes to go, we'll see. Number one seed, Sean Baker. The number one seed up next on Canelton Bowl Network in WN Sports, New York. Hitting has been pretty level through the first two strings. LaPierre's ends are opening up a bit of an advantage there. Look at this, you gotta be kidding me, wow. Taking a page out of Dean Sullivan's book here. Just Four, seven it. left, five, nine middle, ten to the right. So about all those tens he's been getting. Dean's like, welcome to my world. We've seen LaPierre do something wacky on the second ball. Not necessarily get it all. Good offer. Now it's the five, nine, and ten. The option of the third ball is just to get as many pins as possible. So ten would be nice, of course, but nine is fine, as they say, even in a match this tight. Trying to get two, gets one for an eight. Hmm. 48 half here in the third. Final string of the match. $500 to the runner up. The winner goes for $2,000 against Sean Baker. The runner up in that match gets $1,000. The flukes go either way. In this case, LaPierre, after going hot in the first two strings, has had a few heartbreaker leaves here. LaPierre on the nose, split. another split. Five out of six. Yep. Three, six right, seven left. Show us a shot, as they say. So they show me twice in the Friday Night Pro League without wood. Very difficult. Just missed, not by much. Open string. That's great news for Dean Sullivan, who can possibly take the lead in the match. On a spare next. 57 through six without a mark. He cut that behind the seven, that was crazy. Paul Grant, Greg Guia, Bob Lee on Canop Mall Network, WN Sports New York. Thrilling finish here in Portsmouth Bolarama, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Canopins for cancer. Third ladder. I think of Dean is about nine pins behind, basically. So this bonus ball is big. Oh, wow. Can't believe it. Spread Eagle. Unbelievable. His second split. 49 through four. Now both bowlers have a spread e have two spread eagles. Cuts lead to eight in the match. Oh, what a try. He's at the three and 10. Big pins here, pins at a premium here. 
Pinning about level again. Three pins left each. Field goal for an eight. Mm -hmm. 57 half. Tied in the string. Dean's down 12 in the match. Up against a nine. A correction. Is that right? Yep. 49 foot. Yeah. Killer. He yep. only got 22 in the past two. No, I'm, I'm not mistaken. I'm a box behind. Nine drop there. Match differences. It's always the even numbered frames. He's always crushing the head pin there and sitting down on a mark of the second and fourth. Big chance here for a spear. And he missed it. Was that the moment? Still four front boxes to go, though. Paul Grand Special, not a good time for that. 10. 67 through 6. Oh, now up 10 in the string. Down 7 in the match, and that could be a difference. Plenty of time left. Four boxes to go. The number five seed trying to climb up all the way to the top spot. Down 10 in the string, up seven in the match. In the pocket, no split this time. He's got the four seven. Big, big difference there. That's the best leave Lapierre's had the chance to look at in this string. Five splits, one head pin miss. First time he has the chance to dial in the zone here. Split the upright spare. That's big for him. Dean putting the pressure on. 67 the ball through seven here in the third. Well, Dean needs two marks now, at least to keep pace. Presuming Lapierre fills this well. On the head pin, got eight. Generous leave, the three and the six. 75 through seven. Big count, the breaks are starting to come. We're in for a good one, folks. Does anybody got three in a row? What do you got? Uh, yeah, up here from the spare. Three got it. Who does? Back to back spares, yeah, huge. In a row. Um, Loves the third string in this line of series. Uh, has a 163 in the first ladder. Oh, Last ladder, he had a 153rd string. Yeah, he's the one. 95 in the ball through eight. <laughs> now Dean needs a couple of marks here to keep pace. <laughs> Sullivan missed that single pin. Mm. Three there. What's the bonus money here look like, Greg? So right now, up here has won two strings and had a three mark uh, addition. So he has re now reached throughout all three matches we've seen five hundred dollars in bonus money. On the nose, two full as a check mark. Five left, three six ten to the right, and he might need to mark out. Sullivan's been getting his marks, but none consecutive. Nice out of ten. 77 through 7. It's too bad. He got on a streak of five straight head pin hits. It's down 15 box to box in the match, but up against a spare. He might need a double. Three marks for sure. More than likely. But we could fade a lot here, Phil. Double would be big, though. We haven't seen one yet. Just four that time. Not in this ladder series. He was number two last season. You can watch on Alley Chat. Number three seed Aaron Cincy took him out. We've seen this leaf go once already. Oh, what a shot! <gasps> right beyond the five, so close. Give the man a break. And the wood was spinning behind that pin for so long. That's the second time I've been aghast at a leaf between that and the triangle where the All pin right. got tripped in the gutter. Another 10, 87 through 8. Time running out for Dean Sullivan. Scott Lapia, 85 and a ball, up 15 in the match. Plus this bonus ball on lane nine. Sean Baker up next. Sean seems unstoppable of late, but any given day, any given match, you never know. Scott on the spare, still seven. One, three, and the seven on the spare. 
92 through eight of five in the string, 22 in the match. Missed inside. Now we're in the Miracles Required Zone, but Lapierre needs these pins to stay there and force Sullivan to do something extraordinary with strikes. So no, no 150 or 163 this time for Scott Lapierre in the third string. Eight blocks. Keep it down to 20. So, so the margin is 20, as, as Bob Lee points out. The, 100 through 9. So Sullivan most likely will need something involving a strike, like spare strike. Up here needs to hang on to these pins a minimum in the 10th. If he can get another, it will definitely force a double. Lap here. Okay. Tough leave here. 4 7 left, 3 10 right. Shaking, this is the first time he's not gotten better in the, in, the, in the string. How about that, huh? Six splits for LaPierre, though, uh, up on the board. Six splits. And he's done pretty well pinning wise. There's an average, but there's a standard deviation, too, Bob. <laughs> Three. All right, on the object pin, one more. He's got the ramp on the left side he's going to go for, and we'll be very happy to take nine out of this. He does for nine, and ends up with a 109. Third string, 360. Yep. A 120 average, below his average of 123. And have we mentioned 123 is an above average average, so to speak? Yes. Pro tier. 123 is the channel five average after qualifiers, though. That's that's a really high average. For, Dean Sullivan for needs some strikes. Spare strike, strike spare, something like that. He's 39 to tie, 40 to win. Nice ball, oh, nine! Oh 10 strike, oh. huge! What did you say? 97 oh, plus 2 through 9. What did you say? That. I didn't quite say it. Oh, I did. This might be the moment. Thrilling finish here in Portsmouth. Again. 696 qualifying round, the number 2 seed. Doubles the easiest way. He needs a big count here, though. That won't help. He's got to convert somehow. Three in that first ball. So if he gets this, that would be 117, and then he would... He needs this leave. I think he... If my math is correct, he needs this leave right now. He has to. And it won't go. And Scott Lapius survives. The number five seed has won three ladders and will face Sean Baker. The number one seed, and Scott is pumping his fist. But LaPierre loses his first string. Sullivan's going to steal $25 here on the end. Not steal, of course. He bowled well. Sullivan, a tough luck loser. Scott, you brought your good luck chum, your wife and your son, wow. Benjamin. Benjamin, come over here. My mom and my wife. Come over here, Benjamin. 11 years old, you're inspiring your father today. Yes, huh? I am. All right. So, Dean guy. really challenged you, and you got some tough breaks, a lot of splits. This guy is so unlucky. A lot of splits. You, you hung up? out with a 14 pin win. Yeah, so you never give up. You get all them pins and 10 boxes, every single pin. Every ball matters, and that shows you right there why. Not too many times. Number 5C climbs all the way to the top. Now you got a chance against red hot Sean Baker, who has 732 in that qualifying round. $2,000 line, you're guaranteed $1,000 right now. Plus my bonus money, I love it. Let's have some fun. Give me a great match. All right, good luck the rest of the way. All right, thank you. So 360 thank to 346. Scott Lapia takes on Sean Baker next on Kenneth Miller Network, WN Sports New York. Paul Grant, along with Greg Lee, Bob Lee, and Greg Gouillard. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching this great game.